Novena to our mother, perpetual help. O eternal Father, your plan of salvation, your word became man, announced by an angel, and born of the Virgin. Through the motherhood of Mary, you gave the human race eternal salvation. Through the resurrection of her son, our Lord, you gave joy to the world. You gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles as they joined in prayer with Mary, our mother. By the help of her prayers, keep us faithful in your service and let our words and actions be so inspired as to bring glory to your name now and forever. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother Perpetual Help, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we present our petitions as the humble sons and daughters of Adam and Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of the womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, hear the prayers of your people as we come to you under the patronage of our mother of perpetual help. Despise not our petitions and our necessities and deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Let us pray. Grant wisdom and prudence to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert McElroy, our Auxiliary Bishops John and Ramon, and our Bishop Emeritus Robert Brown, our Amen. clergy, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Hear us, Hear us, Lord, us Lord, through, through Mary, Mary, our Mother. Mother. Grant that people may live in social peace and religious unity. Hear us, Hear us Lord, 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 through Mary, Mary our, our Mother. Mother. Grant that the Holy Spirit guide the sons and daughters of our parish in choosing their way of life. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant that the people of our parish retain their health and that the sick regain their health according to your holy will. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal rest to all the deceased members of our parish and to all the souls of the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant guidance and aid in all the special intentions of this parish and all the needs of those here present. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us silently present our personal petitions to our mother of perpetual help. O oh, mother of perpetual help, we, the faithful, proclaim your praise as the most pure bearer of God and our ready helper. You are the protection of our race, our tainted nature's solitary boast, the shelter of humankind. The Lord is with you, and through you, he extends to us the gifts of his tender heart. All creation is made joyful, seeing you, with suppliant arms uplifted praying that the burdens of this world may be lightened, that rulers may govern wisely and that our souls may be redeemed and we may enter into peace with your son. And so blessed lady, all embracing refuge, we solemnly acclaim your protection and beg Christ, your son, our brother for his mercy that we may be kept from all evil. We acclaim your greatness. We venerate your gracious care. We present ourselves before you in faith, hope, and love, seeking the truth that will lead us along the way into the life that you share with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
God, gather us. Amor de Dios, haznos uno, that we may share the gifts we are given para construir la comunidad, para construir la comunidad. Many gifts of the Spirit, but the same God who works them in us all. O oh, love of God, gather us, amor de Dios, haznos uno, that we may share the gifts we are given para construir la comunidad. Para construir la comunidad. Today we are offering the Mass for the repose of the souls of Philly Sullivan, Alex Rust, and Bruce Williams and also for all the intentions we have in our hearts today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare for these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord, have mercy. Christ had mercy. Lord had mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that we may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere. What is man that you're mindful of him? Or the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little less than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet, at present, we do not see all things subject to him. But we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor, because he suffered death. He who, for a little while, was made Lord than the angels, that by the grace of God, he might end, see death, taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom, all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should take the leader to their salvation, perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated 
all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You, you have, have given, given your son rule over, over the works, works of your hands. O Lord our God, how gracious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him? Or the son of man that you should care for him? You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have made them little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the sea. You have you given have your, your son rule over, over the work of your hands. hands. as it truly is the word of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers. And on the Sabbath, he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you do to, to, to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet. Come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame is spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Please be seated. Let us reflect today upon the fact that the evil one is constantly at work around us. <clears throat> Consider the people and circumstances in your life where the pure and holy truth of God is attacked and rejected. It is in those situations more than any other that Jesus wants to bestow upon us his divine authority to confront evil, rebuke it, and take authority over it. This is primarily done through prayer and deep trust in the power of God. Don't be afraid to allow God to use you and to use me to confront the activity of evil one in this world. We can identify it, but sometimes we are afraid to act. And let us God, our Lord Jesus Christ, to act in us, to defend our faith, and to trust in the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, Give us courage and wisdom when I face activity of evil one in this world. Give us wisdom to discern his hand at work and give us courage to confront and rebuke him with your love, mercy, and authority. God, love Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. Trusting in the love of God and our faith, let us present to him our intentions. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Holy Spirit enkindle the fire of his love in their hearts as they preach the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the word, may the Lord have mercy on the suffering and trials of all people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are so deeply affected by the coronavirus and its resulting social, economic, and, and physical destruction, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the Lord defend us from the influence of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they be reunited in glory with Christ, our Savior and brother. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special, for the repose of the soul of Phyllis Sullivan, Alex Rust, and Bruce Williams, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the special intentions we hold dear in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And may Almighty God receive our intentions in the name of His Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please be seated. You are the light in my darkness. 
Jesus. You are my strength when I'm weary. You give me sight when I'm blinded. Come see for me. Jesus, Jesus, you are my light. Jesus, Jesus, you are the I am your song and servant, singing your praise like Mary, surrendered to your spirit. Let it be done to me, Jesus, Jesus, let it be done to me, Jesus, Jesus, you are the way. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Let us pray. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devotedly entreat to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift it up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed men in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in you, name, over all you made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all angels and angels praise you and joyfully celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fan of holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and saying, Say this. 
all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which we give it up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples and saying, Say this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim you there, the Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, John, Ramon, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have found asleep in the hope and the resurrection, and who have your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her espoused, with the blessed apostles, St. Francis, St. Clair, and all the saints who have preached to the ages, we may marry to be called heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but of the faith of your church, and graciously have peace and unity in accordance with the will, who lives and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. These last weeks, I have a lot of funerals. The past last week and also the other two weeks ago, we have a lot of funerals. I have four last week. I have more masses than, I don't know, than naps. But I always tell people about, when I have funerals, I like the funerals because I preach about coming back. You have to come back. You have to pray. Because this is what happened. One day we will die. But sometimes people don't get it. They, they don't come back. They cry, they go, and they don't come back. But let us pray for them today and also offer this prayer for the communion prayer, the spiritual communion prayer, because I saw the pain and I, I feel so sad sometimes in my masses. But I saw many different ages and I have funeral for a third year. 31 years old man, and also 40 years old man. And I saw the families, and, and I asked them to come. They need God to face this thing that some, we will have one day together. One day we, we die anyway, but they don't get it. And uh, I was praying for them a lot this week. And let us offer this also prayer for them and for the brothers and sisters who are at home watching the Mass live stream. They made the Lord big. May Jesus go to their hearts and bring them to the house of the Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you about all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as you were already then and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Humble we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve, serve with lives pleasing to you. To Christ our Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our Mass is sended. Have a beautiful day. Bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to one another. Hold us in unity, in love for all to see, that the world may believe in you. God of all who live, bread of life, hope of the world, Jesus Christ, our brother, feed us now, give us life, lead us to 